Jade here from The Raw Some Truth. Today I want to talk to you about something I saw on Facebook. It's actually a year old, but it just managed to get into my newsfeed today. It was about a chimp in Detroit who um, was being chased by another chimpanzee in an enclosure in a zoo. And he fell into the water and he was going to drown because chimpanzees cannot swim. Unlike humans who automatically, we, we float in water and that's due to the fact that we have fat in our bodies, we have muscle and we also have fat. Chimpanzees only have muscle, so they automatically go to descend under the water and drown. Now, I didn't post this to talk about the anatomy of the human body or the chimpanzee body, I actually am posting this video to discuss with you why, as a vegan, I don't support zoos or animals to be used as any form of entertainment. When I was traveling through Asia a few years back, and it was just at the cusp of becoming vegan, I was really starting to become awake to a lot of the cruelty in animal agriculture, but I hadn't made that complete connection yet. I was vegetarian. Um, I hadn't made the connection of using animals as entertainment. I still thought zoos were perfectly normal. And I went into a few zoos in Asia. I was totally heartbroken in Japan. I walked out within 10 minutes. It was just the most disgraceful zoo I'd ever been to, and that was in Tokyo. We then went to China, and that wasn't much better. Admittedly, it was better than the one in Japan, and um, their panda enclosure, of course, was their glory. But we then went into a zoo in Vietnam. Now, this is the last time I've ever, ever been into the zoo, into a zoo, and to this day, I will never go into one again. But this is where I made the connection. Animals don't belong behind bars. Um, I'm going to showcase the footage. Now, I put this video together a couple of years ago, so I was very amateurish at doing videos, but you'll see um, how sad and how beautiful it was in one hit. We were near the chimpanzee enclosure and there was a chimpanzee and he had like a goiter. It was something stuck to his bottom. You don't actually see that in the footage. But he had his bananas with him, with him and he was looking very lonely. And he started throwing bananas at us because he wanted us to spend time with him. <coughs> and I looked and that's when I really saw, because I've always loved primates, I love all animals, but I've always loved primates. And this is when I looked and I thought, this poor darling, he is so alone, because he was alone. I mean, usually when you see chimpanzees in the wild, they are in a, they're in a group, they've got their family with them. And he was all alone. And he was throwing the, uh, the bananas at us and, my partner talked my daughter into jumping over the enclosure and going closer to the fence, like he was in a cage and then there was a space and then we had to be behind that barrier. And she started handing the bananas back and he held onto her hand. He wanted to be touched. He, he wanted that closeness. And in that moment, I just thought, why are we putting these animals behind bars? We go and watch them behind bars as a point of entertainment and it's not where they should be. And I was lucky enough two years ago, I went to Indonesia, I went to Sabatra, I went to a place called Bukit Lawang and I actually um, walked through the jungle and I slept in the jungle for the evening and I saw orang orangutans and I also saw different um, uh, monkeys in their own environment. And the difference between seeing animals where they should be and where they shouldn't be cannot be compared. And, <clears throat> you know, people go, oh, but they're there. How else do we enjoy them? They're not here for us to enjoy. They're not here for us to be to, for us to imprison them and they are imprisoned if you look at them they're imprisoned 
They're behind bars. We are shoving these animals behind bars. And they get driven to the point of madness because they're put in these small little enclosures and they're meant to be wild and free. Um, there's no place for zoos. And each time that you say, but I want to take my grandkids, I want to take my daughter, or I want to take my son, you're exploiting those animals and you're part of the problem. The only way we can stop these animals from being exploited and being in prison is to shut our purses to these industries because they're not necessary. And, you know, and I know there are some places that are a lot better than others that have breeding, you know, where they breed animals um, so that they're not going to be extinct. And I know in South Australia we've got a place called Monado Zoo where the animals are put on big properties so that they have got room to move. And, yes, I do prefer them in those situations. Um, you know, in a perfect world I want animals where they should be, wherever, you know, if it's Africa or whether it's Southeast Asia or whether it's Australia, you know, for the kangaroos, koalas, whatever, wherever they're supposed to be in their wildlife, that's where I want them to be. But I hate zoos. I really hate zoos. And the most amazing thing about zoos, when you look at the footage of this poor chimpanzee that was nearly drowning, none of the zookeepers were going to do anything. And that's obviously because they know that chimpanzees can be deadly, they can be dangerous, and they weren't going to put their own life at risk. But a man that was just there, he obviously loved animals and he didn't want to see a living being suffer. So he jumped in to save the chimpanzee. I hope through that he made some sort of connection and realised that all living beings want to live because that chimpanzee wanted to live. He didn't go to attack him. He let him save him. So all living beings want to live and all living beings don't deserve to be in cap captivation. So I'm going to just show you the video of my daughter and I hope you enjoy it and I hope you too can make the connection that animals don't need to be behind bars. Animals need to be free and I pray to God for that day to happen because until that can happen, I don't believe we're ever going to have any love or compassion between other human beings either. And I think if we can at least start with animals because they've never done anything to any of us, if we can just start with that step, and little by little maybe human beings will learn to love each other too. Enjoy the video. This is the Rawesome Truth. Subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, give it the thumbs up and most importantly, love life and live free. Bye for now.